Hi everyone, I am Lisa D'Amico, curator of the Come As You Are virtual art exhibit, hosted by the Cultural Alliance of Western Connecticut. And I am here today with the super talented Barbara Chen, and we're going to talk about her piece in the exhibit, which is, and I wrote this down just because I wanted to get it right. A funny thing happened on my way to 60. And that's the story I'm happy to share. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Um, well, first of all, um, some of you may have heard me speak before. The, the piece is representative of my style. I use shapes and colors and uh, patterns and, and a an easy flow of lines to um, represent um, something concrete. And that something concrete in this particular piece happens to be me. Um, this is uh, a, almost a self-portrait. Um, except my eyes are not that wild and crazy. Um, but anyway, um, the, the piece is, um, I did something a little different than I normally do with this piece. First of all, um, what I always do a drawing first, it helps me solidify the forms that I want to represent in the painting. And when I got the invitation to submit a piece for this, I did not have, I, I was, I was busy doing other, other things, so I didn't have time to fully do a drawing. So I did the outline for the drawing, which I transposed to the painting, and now I'm actually doing the drawing. So a little different there. Um, but anyway, so I was um, getting ready to turn 60. This was a, a, a year or two ago. No, well, whatever. And um, somebody invited me to, um, to um, participate in a magazine article on body confidence. And um, so what we had to do for this uh, piece is submit a picture of, of me in my underwear, which I did. And I got accepted to the um, into the magazine. And the magazine, this was a very uh, respected magazine. This was Ladies Home Journal. So, um, so I went down there one day, the appointed time, and I had uh, new underwear and I, and, I, and I posed. And this picture that I, and I always use the portrait before I, um, to to do my work, the portrait that I used was the portrait of me in my underwear in Ladies Home Journal. And it was an article on body confidence. And when I saw the, the write up on the show there, I knew that this, I had to do this. It was meant to be. It was, it was totally meant to be. So, so anyway, um, the, the, and they, they gave you a little uh, blurb, you, you, could, you could do, they, they interviewed you for the, the piece. And basically um, the, the, the theme of my, um, my speech there was the fact that it doesn't matter who you are or what you are, um, if you smile, you're beautiful. Barbara, I, I'm, I'm speechless. I, this is such a wonderful story and it's incredible. Now it, 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 it just kind of like, it just enhances the painting knowing the backstory. I mean, it, the title was wonderful and it, and it took me on a journey, just the title alone. But now that I know this, this is so great. Thank you for sharing that. I, and if you, you know, if you Google my name, and you Google body and and add body confidence. You'll see the um, you'll see the 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 article or or some of the article. I'm definitely doing that. And, and it's beautiful. The painting's beautiful, and the story is fantastic. This is and and I will also tell you, I was shaking in my in my underwear. I <laughs> I'd say in my boots, but I wasn't wearing any. Um, <laughs> while I was getting my picture taken, it was it was a scary. It's like jumping off of an airplane. But you That's, did it. But you did but it. I did it. And 
And so, you know, body confidence and, um, and, and just confidence, period. So, so if I could do that, I can, I can just about do anything. And I will tell you that my mother at the time was in a nursing home. And I showed her the, the article when it came out. And she was so proud of me. Oh, she was so proud of me. And she made sure that everybody, all the aides in the, in the nursing home saw my picture. Oh, that's, that is wonderful. I, I love this story. You've answered, all, you've answered almost all of my questions. I just have one last question. I, oh, last, I have one question for you. You were saying that you do a drawing prior to the work. This time you did the, you're doing the drawing after the work. Well, I, I, I did the form, the basic form. Right. Uh, I got all of the, uh, the shapes there. It was just the, basically the coloring it in. So, so some of the work that I've seen you do, and I recommend to everybody listening to please see the exhibit at CAWCT.org and then click on Barbara's link so you can see more of her work. Um, the, the drawings that I've seen you exhibit, are they the drawings that have, have been catalysts for paintings? Um, oh, always. I don't do a painting without doing a drawing first. Wow, that's great. That's very interesting. You, yeah, I think in the future you need to do a solo show where you have the drawing and the painting next to each other. That's such an interesting and creative journey. I think people would, I'm so interested in it. I love your work, period. And I, and I, your work in, in the exhibit is a, is, was ideal from the beginning and now somehow it's even more of a perfect marriage. I, I will tell you something though. I, after I finished the painting, I realized that I cheated. I took five pounds off. That I think is actually called artistic license. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara, thank you so much for this. This was, this was great. Truly great. Thank you. Always a pleasure, Lisa. Thank you.